Today we are looking at the HyperX Alloy Origin 60% keyboard. If you find the video useful, a like would be much appreciated and subscribe for more reviews. So before we start, let's take a look around the box. So on the front here, we have the name HyperX, HyperX Alloy Origin 60, double short PBT keycaps, which are the keycaps on the keyboard, Ingenuity, which is the software for HyperX products for on your computer, RGB compatible with PC, PS4 and Xbox One, HyperX Red Linear switches, English US and two year warranty. The back here just tells us a bit about the keyboard and what comes inside. Then on the top here is some system requirements, PC with a USB port, Windows 10, 8.1, 8 and 7. So now let's take a look inside the box. So this is everything what comes inside the box. We have our quick start guide here, which comes in many different languages. We have our HyperX cover card. We have our USB to USB-C cable. We have the keyboard itself. We have extra a spacebar keycap and an extra escape keycap and the HyperX keycap puller. So just before we have a look at the keyboard let's have a look at some of the accessories it comes with. So it does come with this extra spacebar which has got like a swirl design on it. Then we have this escape key which is just a HyperX, just has a HyperX logo on it. We do have this HyperX keycap puller so if you wanted to take, switch the space bar, the escape key, etc, you could use it at that. We have this 2 meter USB to type C cable here, which would go in the back of the keyboard, which we'll check in a minute, and this would go into your PC. So let's take a look around the keyboard. So the keyboard keycaps are double shot PBT keycaps, which are mainly used on uh, these modern keyboards these days. It does have extra functions. As you can see, they have white symbols on the side. They're the ones, they're the only key caps where you have actual extra functions. If you press this function button here, and then say I want to change the color lighting, I would press J, K, or L, which would just change the lighting. But you have to press this function button for a 60%. HyperX logo there. You have red linear switches, which we'll check properly in a minute. On the top here, you have your USB-C input. On the back, you have your keyboard feet. You have the bigger set it, setting, or you have, can have the smaller setting, or you can just have them down if you want. You have rubber feet here, even on the actual keyboard feet. And this, the aluminium case on the back is just covered with a tiny bit of rubber, just to get the HyperX logo in there. Then that's where the aluminium case is. Nothing much. Let's have a look at the switches. So there we go, I've taken a few keys off. I've taken the space bar off and I've taken the some other uh, key caps off here. Here are your stabilizers, just standard stabilizers. There are your switches, which feel quite nice, just pressing on their own. There you go, you can see them a bit closer. There's your RGB, just above it, there's your RGB lighting there. So now let's do a sound test on the switches.
So now let's have a look at the Ingenuity, the software for all the HyperX products. So if we have a look at the side here, as you can see, it says Ingenuity, which will just hide that. These are our connected products, which is the keyboard. Here, if we press Light Sync, we can find other devices, such as if you have an RGB HyperX headset or an RGB HyperX mouse, you can sync it so all the lighting will be the same. Go back to the keyboard here. As you can see here is your effects. You can choose a triggered effect. So if you have flame, if I tap the keyboard here, the triggered effects are basically when you tap the when you're using yeah, when you're using the keyboard, it will, you know, trigger the lighting to come up. So this, I'm tapping it now. In certain spots where I click, it will light up. Explosion here, as you can see, wherever I click, it's like an explosion effect. And fade, where I'm clicking something, it will light up. Here, if we come out of this now, if we go down to effect, add effect, we have a breathing effect for the lighting. We have a confetti type effect, which is a load of different colors. We have swipe, which is different colors showing up. Solid, which is just one color on its own. Twilight, which is just color, um, the light and lighting up in different areas. We have wave here, which is the standard, and sun, which is like your reds and or yellows and oranges. Come off of that. We do have on the, we have it on the wave effect right now. But we can press it off if we don't want the effect on, and just to keep the keyboard off, which is also a pa opacity. If we put that all the way to hidden, the lighting will go off. Same with brightness up here. If we just turn that down, don't see the brightness really. That will turn off the keyboard lighting. If we have a look here at selection, oh, that's just also another way of targeting the lights. Your colors here, these are different color variants. You have your scroll wheel here as well, or your color wheel, if you want to call it, to change the color. And then you have your HUE bar here. Here's your speed for the colors, for the lighting, sorry. If you put it on fast, it will make the lighting wave faster. Or if you put it on slow, it will go much slower. But we'll keep it on medium at the minute. Also, we have this angle setting here, which if I turn it, if I do turn it here, it will turn with me. So as you can see on the lighting, on the keyboard, if I have it on zero degrees, so it's facing right it will the wave will go right if I put it on the left side it'll come from the right side to left and if i put it on the up it'll go from down to up put it on down it'll go from up to down you know you can have a, a many different lightings like diagonally that's also a cool feature if you press save to keyboard here you only can have three profiles for a product uh, for each product sorry on the ingenuity app up here we have our presets, which if you want to make a, a set preset, you can have the base setting. If you go on preset one, you can have it like on the, say we, if we want to effects here, we can have it on breathing or just a certain color scheme you want. If we go on game mode here, the this is for your game. Like when you're playing games, some games use some key binds automatically. And if you want to block them, you can. And there you go, my friends. That was the HyperX Alloy Origin 60% keyboard. I will make sure to leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick it up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I hope this was useful to someone. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.